Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, in continuation to the earlier part, actually, the earlier part I did was the body, and going on to the next part, which is a nut. Right. Uh, I have part drawings for nut and the sketch. Right. I can see that it is symmetrical. Right. I need to draw this hatchet portion, and then I can go with the uh, revolve, so that I am going to get the revolve protrusion of that, and then we can go with the coil part. So. Uh, First, in order to draw this hatchet part, the dimensions is already given here. That is, uh, this point I have taken it to be a central axis origin, and from here 19 mm, and from here to here it will be 6 mm, 10, 20, 10, 20, and this will be the remaining will be 25 because the total height of this is 45. 45 minus 20 will be 25, and then 6 mm, and I will close this profile, and then I will go with the revolve, so that I will go into the Part. Then I need to draw a square threads. This square threads is given it to be a square 38 of pitch 7 mm. Right? Let me show you how exactly to do that. Right? Now let me open the fusion and I will go to the sketch and then I will go with the front plane. And I will go to the front plane and then I will go on uh, drawing that. So first the total height of that part he has given it to be 45 mm. So I will take up the line. Right. If you see the diagram, right. So from here to here it is 19 mm, 6, 10, right. So 19 mm I will draw one line. Right? And then again 6 mm. This will be 10 mm. Again this will be 10 mm. Sorry, this will be 20 mm. We will modify this. It is 20 mm. So this so I'll take it up to be 20 mm, 10 mm, 20 mm, and then I'll go with the 25 mm. So I'll come up with the 6 and I will close this. Right. As of now, I don't need this, I will delete this. Right? And uh, this axis I can also delete that. And I can go with the fillet here. Let me select these two lines and give the fillet radius to be how much is the fillet radius? He has given it to be a 5 mm radius. So let's give it to be a 5 mm. The similar thing, let me do it here also. 5 mm. So this is the sketch we need to we have created. Let me finish the sketch. I will go to the revolve and then the sketch is already selected. Right? I will choose this to be the revolving plane and then I will finish. Right? So now what we need to do is we need to create a square threads from this nut inside that. So let me go to the pen plane. In order to do that, right, I have one option called as coil, right, because uh, we can go and select the thread here, but here we don't have a square thread, right, we need to manually create that, so that can be created by using a coil feature, let me go over the, go to the create and select the coil, so once we select the coil, it will ask you to choose the planar reference,
then place the central point so meanwhile let me take the bottom view right so here he has given it to be at 38 so that is on 38 mm let me create one circle right now the thing is so here the type of this here here he has given you the bcd and the pitch so let me give a new at the total height i know that the total height of this is 45 mm and the pitch he has given it to be 7 mm so total height is 45 mm and the pitch is 7 mm right pitch is a 7 mm and it is a square thick i need to take and section size you take it to be 3.5 mm because while creating the square threads we take 0.5 times the d right pitch of for the 0.5 times the p right so i will take the section size to be 3.5 mm and i will cut it up click on ok now you can see that the square threads cut square threads are cut right so let me go on creating create the body body one you created right you rename the component the component rename will be your nut right component rename will be your nut and the material of the nut is uh, you take uh, fe 410 w that is mild steel so you go to the so the, save it make it as nut go to the modify and the the material you can go on selecting the metal assign the material save that so this completes the second part today's nut